Like the old bow's on, so gonna get on the road. Gotta load up the truck, head to Alabama. I was wanting to get here in time to hunt, but I've only got less than an hour until dark, so I wouldn't have time to get in the woods and climb a tree and just be boogering up deer anyway so probably hunt first thing in the morning and then spend probably the rest of the day scouting fixing ease back here and give it a shot there's a spot where there's two different barbed wire fences and there's a spot where both of them got a drop in it and the deer cross and there's like 15 or 20 scrapes within bow range of one tree last year so we'll slide in up there and see what it looks like Just exactly what they were supposed to do. Came and they walked within about 15 yards. They walked across where the tree fell on the old barbed wire fence right here. I mean, you just got to ask for a better offer shot opportunity than right there. That was cool. It's a, I really wanted to shoot one. <laughs> little saddle up here. Last year in January, this saddle in particular was just absolutely eat up with scrapes, and there is none now. I don't think it's even got started good yet. I'm gonna keep looking, but probably just put some cameras up, maybe hunt tomorrow morning, and go home, wait a couple weeks, and come back. I just don't even think it's going good. Well, I spent like all day scouting and uh, only got about an hour left of daylight and I didn't want to, I didn't want to go get in a spot and booger anything up the last hour. So I'm just going to sit on this field and glass and just see if anything comes out, I guess.
It's a little after 11, so I reckon I'm gonna take it on back to Georgia. Give it probably a week and a half, two weeks. Come back and see what's going on. Well, it's January 2nd, 2021. Headed back to Alabama. Easing back here now. There's two cameras I'm gonna check. And then I should have time to get in the woods before dark. Maybe things are starting to get right around here. Bunch of does. Bunch of does. There's two bucks hanging out, so they might still be buddy buddy. Why did my phone just cut off? Piece of crap. There's a little dink. Little seven six pointer. Probably three years old though. A buck that would be a huge four pointer, but he's got one side broke off. Looks like we actually got a buck chasing a doe. Sniffing one. There we go. Right at dark. Really nice seven or eight pointer. You gonna die, buddy. Two nice eight pointers in one picture. You don't come to Alabama to shoot a 150, but get on some good deer for the area. It's fun. I mean, even if they're not, you know, as big as the deer in Kansas or whatever, or it really doesn't look like they average what they would in Georgia, but it, it's really, I mean, it's all about the chase. It ain't about the sheer inches of the deer to me anyway. Like all these deer, three, four year olds, I have no problem shooting any of them. I'm move on to the next camera and check it and figure out where I'm gonna hunt this afternoon. There's really just nowhere near the sign here that there was last year. I mean, last year, walking along this road, I probably, like from where I walked, there would have been like 15 scrapes, and now I've seen like three. I never turned this freaking camera on. It's set to set up. So, I'm assuming it didn't take any pictures. They really should add a feature where if you leave it on setup, it switches over to on after like a while. But, apparently the technology still ain't smart enough to counter human stupidity, so. But yep, no intel here. It sucks and drive to another state and put a camera up and uh, come back in two weeks and don't have any, any new information. Picked out the dang tree with the world record for the most branches ever on one tree. I had a good win for this spot, so I figured I'd sit here and see if I might be pleasantly surprised. I ain't been here five minutes. He hurt me up here and come over here to see what was what it was.
do some scouting. See what the heck's going on. That rub wasn't here when I hunted here a couple weeks ago. It's gonna kind of tread lightly and see what I can find. And then make a decision for this afternoon. Scrape, rub. It was real windy this morning though, so that surely played a part in why they weren't moving good. Good scrape right there. Here's another one. There's another scrape. He was trying real hard. Nice little six pointer. These two scrapes right here literally just absolutely stink. I bet you. Nope. On the other end of this property now. I'm gonna check it out. See, see if uh, there's anything worth climbing a tree over over here. Huge tree, probably the size of a four by four, been rubbed on, but it ain't like it's real tore up or anything. Yeah, this side over here ain't looking real promising. Headed back in after the Alabama hammer. Maybe it'll work out this afternoon. Hope the deer don't mind gunshots. <laughs> I'll climb that big hardwood right there. Rubs and scrapes all in this area. a little afternoon. Guess I'm gonna get down and get some lunch and scout out where to hunt this afternoon and probably just put my climber on my back, walk till I see something good and climb a tree. So the neighboring property is all real thick pines and I'm assuming that's where a lot of these deer are bedded. And that's upwind of us right now. So I'm gonna walk that edge until I, until I get some good buck sign coming out and then I'm just gonna climb a tree right there. but I ain't been hit in a couple weeks. That one's got a wet spot in it. There's a bed right there. It's a little. No doubt that's a bed though. Coming up on these pines now. Here's a scrape. There's a robe right there. There's a green field over there. I guess they got a food plot. Big ol' scrape, scrape, big ol' scrape. I think I'm gonna climb a tree right here. Somewhere. 
basically the setup is I'm like 100, 150 yards from the, the thick pines, but coming up this ridge, there wasn't really a whole lot of sign right on the edge, so I wanted to come look at this first bench coming up this ridge, and there's like just scrapes all down it, several rubs. Um, there's five or six scrapes, but two or three of them are the kind that's like several looking branches combined into one big scrape over time, and I'm actually climbed almost like right on top of these scrapes, and the reason why is another good trail like right there um, I'd really prefer to be downwind in the scrapes but I want to be able to cover that trail too but sitting right here if they if they kind of cut downwind I'll be able to have a shot or if they get on that trail I'll be able to have a shot it's the rut so kind of all bets are off this way to kind of I swear that deer is probably a three year old. Won't think. There might have been three bucks, I'm not sure. But anyway, that's one thing I love about just on the trails and stuff is the deer have walked by me. Now I can get out clean. I'll probably sit here again in the morning.
get some more corn and antler stream out here than I wanted to have time to hunt this afternoon. Probably come back in like a week or so, but seems like things are, are getting right. I don't know if it's full blown wide open yet or not. 